Hey guys, welcome back. Here we are again. We are going to introduce our latest Pro Runner build to you. This is build 002. This is a full Bronco Pro Runner refinished in hot pepper red, which is a factory color this time. And let's jump into it. I want to show you guys, you know, what we did on this one. There's a couple changes. And as we're going to show you, the last vehicle you saw was not a one-off build. So I want to jump into some of the details that make this one unique to its own. And we'll show you that right now. Starting at the front of the vehicle, Ford's bumper system, so far we've noticed three various front bumpers. This is the standard steel bumper, non-HD, non-modular, but it's still a great bumper. We left it alone, this is completely stock. It's got an incredible approach angle, it works with the body system, all the proximity sensors, the adaptive cruise control, the airflow, everything works on it. But of course you can exchange this for a winch bumper, you know, you want more lighting in it, there, there's tons of options, but for this particular build, we left it alone. All right, so on top of the bumper, we have the Baja Designs 7 linkable setup. You know, it's got the spots in the middle and then the combos on the outside. Going to the grill, got it cleaned up, scuffed it up, prepped it, got it gloss black painted, pulled each individual decal off, and got that a OEM color match, which is also the hot pepper red metallic. All right, so moving on to the side of the vehicle. We are always going to body match the bead lockering. It gives it a good two-tone accenting and you know just kind of ties it all together. You know, more on to the side, you'll also notice we did a, to kind of carry on the black pack, we did blacked out mirror caps blacked out door handles, and you'll notice a black roof as well. You know, this has got the A-pillar lights, but there's a lot more lighting options that you can do. I want to spend a little bit more time talking about the body system and the front corner of the vehicle. Something that we really want to highlight in our body system that plays into how Ford really did the initial design of the Bronco is it is modular. Where typically, if you buy an aftermarket body system, you have to pick your width, your reveal, and your look. The sweet part about this is it is customizable. Right now you see it with our one inch flare. We've got the three inch flare and the five inch flare. Pull it off, put your winter flare on there. You know, put your one inch for your summer flare. Customize it to what you like the look of. All right, another recap of our suspension system. You'll notice our customizable shock towers, three inch internal bypass king coilovers, three tube bypass shocks, three and a half inch wider billet upper control arm, our three and a half inch wider lower control arm, which is manufactured. You know, it's steel plate box construction with spherical bearings all around. It's got our heavy duty axles, our heavy duty tie rod system, and much more. Peeking through all that, you can also see our all carbon front liners that tie it all together. All right guys, also now for the rear suspension. 14 inch long, three inch coilovers. It's a dual rate spring. It's got internal bypass. It's also got that 12 inch three tube bypass hanging off the front right there. Something pretty sweet that we did on this vehicle is our entire vehicle suspension system is customizable. We added a couple inches of ride height to this vehicle because the client just wanted the vehicle to sit taller. So you'll notice a bit more pick on that rear coilover that just simply lowering that spring collar down therefore lifts the vehicle and changes your ride height. And of course, we've used our adjustable rear link systems and control arms to center that axle inside the vehicle. And again, the theme here is the vehicle is highly customizable for different user interactions. All right, guys, so we know this has been a sticking point on Broncos. Hard top, hard top, hard top. You know, we all know how challenging this has been for customers to accept that Ford is unable to deliver their hardtop. So a lot of you have been forced to remove hardtop from your build and price configurator or do without it. We knew we wanted to have a product offering for a roof the entire time. If your vehicle comes equipped with, it only has a soft top, know that you can add on a hardtop as an option. Or if you wanna keep your factory hardtop, that's also okay, it's not forced as an option. But we do wanna show you our hardtop and kinda of go through some of the functions. This is our one-piece design hardtop. By being a one-piece design, it is much quieter than an OEM hardtop and especially quieter than a convertible soft top. There are no leak points, there are no multi-panels that would create some sort of wind noise or cross-draft noise. But there is a, a slight trade-off that it is a bit more challenging to get on and off the vehicle. But I don't remove my roof. I and mean, a lot of you guys may be the same way. We put it on and we don't take it off, right? So this would be a better option for you. The positive trade-off of having a quiet drive, you're driving high speed on the highway, talking on the phone, or you're in the summer, you know, with it blasting your air conditioning, you just want a roof just to keep the elements outside, this is the option for you. Now, we decided to finish this roof in a gloss black to match the black pack that we gave. You can get the same roof with a standard texture coating, just like the factory roof, or you could have us paint match it to your vehicle. You've seen our rear bumper system before, but this is a bit refined production version of it. 
which has some of our custom badging, which will come standard on all of the rear bumper systems. As you know, this is a collab between us and Expedition One. They've done a fantastic job and we support this bumper and we stand behind it. You can see some small aesthetic choices we made in the back. We blacked out the uh, little Bronco badging emblem there in the back. You know, the vehicle also has some built-in Baja Designs squadron combo lights in the back to help set up camp, unload equipment, etc. This tire carrier is holding a 143 pound tire back here. That's no jokes and, and it supports it on this pivot system. You'll notice up here on the carrier is a 40 inch Nitto Trail Grappler mud terrain. It's a 4013-517 mounted on, of course, this uh, custom APG KMC beadlock. Take a look at something that we have not shown you before. This comes standard on Bronco Pro Runner. This is a Baja Designs RTL Mini rear chase light. This is a multifunction light. It is a license plate light. It is a chase light. It is a brake light and a spotlight for camp setup or load light or really reverse assistance light, really whatever you need. But this little guy packs a punch and it comes standard on all builds. Something we haven't talked about before is the included Apex rapid deflator valve. These are awesome. These KMC grenade beadlocks come with two valve stem holes, basically, where we have the factory valve stem pushed in, pressed in, outfitted with the factory TPMS sensor. And then the secondary access port, we place these apex deflator valves. We are able to air down a 40 inch tall tire in like 10 seconds. And that's huge, you know? Just check this out, look how easy it is. You just reach in, remove your uh, cover valve, you know, you, same as your plastic one or whatever you have. You just reach in, there's a little, a little pull tab, turn it on, off, and that's letting go of, you know, at least five PSI every second or so. I mean, it's, it, it's fast, you know, once you're done, close it up, put your dust cap over and your safety cap. And you know, like I said, about 10, 15 seconds per 40 inch tall tire, you've aired down to a comfortable rate or a rock crawl rate or whatever you're trying to accomplish. One of the highlights of our body system, it's the mechanical characteristics about how our product is made which is far superior than other on-market, typical fiberglass body systems. In the old days, GM never sold the black Corvette Stingray because they knew the panels would become wavy. It's the same thing here, fast forward 50 years in the future. Our manufacturing process is high temp epoxy vacuum infused carbon fiber, which is post cured up to 300 degrees Fahrenheit. What that means is your body system, when body worked and painted beautifully, will last virtually forever, just like a stamped metal component. The structure beneath it is of the utmost quality and made with high-end manufacturing material. It's strong, you know, you'll never hurt it, but temperature is something that really affects your body systems out there. I don't mind doing a demonstration of me hitting a, a part with a sledgehammer to show you how strong it is. If, if you look at the technical parameters of your average body system, those body panels are made following a manufacturing process that's similar to boats and surfboards. And you'll notice that you're not supposed to leave your surfboard in the sun on the beach, right? Because what'll happen to it? That shouldn't happen to your car because you're gonna take your cars out to extreme environmental conditions. Your vehicle should be able to withstand those and they will with all of APG's parts. All right, so the theme here is details. Details, details, details matter to us. We don't wanna cut corners anywhere. With that being said, we've got a lot of compliments on our fuel door. How the door, you know, contours the shape of the body. It's not inset or, you know, how it's typically done is reusing your factory door. When you reuse your factory door, you are stuck within the geometry and the shape and the contours of this door. So sometimes you'll see the body panel manufacturer place the bucket in a way that it's not that invasive where it, they try to position it as close to possible so they don't have to change this product out. Now, changing this product out is very hard. We understand that. Look at the detail on the inside and in the back of this door where this door is always injection molded plastic and they can capture these fine details you won't be able to do that with a carbon fiber or a, even a fiberglass with that said. So what we decided to do was to 3D print our own door, which has matching rear geometry. So it just clicks into your factory bucket, but it has outer curvature that matches our body system. 
The part is highly serviceable, it's perfect. It installs just like a factory door and you don't have any sacrifices. It's not inset, it operates like, just like a factory door. If you happen to, I don't know, scratch it or break it, we send you out another part. Service is important here. The look is, is spot on. So you get this factory capless fuel door, all OE, it's perfect. All right, so something really awesome about our one piece and modular hardtop design is, again, the theme the entire time is the vehicle is modular. The accessories you put on there should not remove that, that modular and accessory capability, and in some cases, expand upon it more than factory. So what we did on our rear side panels is we embedded a whole series of six millimeter inserts. These inserts have got almost a 100 foot pound of pull out capacity and they've got you know, fantastic torque strength on them. So one could mount you know, shovels or fire extinguishers or radios or flashlights or even our optional Molly panel that goes across. All right, so we got a lot of feedback when we showed the rear winch setup and coming from someone who doesn't just do this for work, I do this as a lifestyle, I completely understand why a front winch would be more advantageous. And while some would say a rear winch is not preferred, this is not an industry that we are talking about strictly one route over another. This is our way of doing something and this is our solution to there being no front winch setup that we like the placement of. So we've already went over the placement of it. Our exhaust tucks out through the driver's side. A plate tucks up where the factory rear muffler was. And we put an 8K winch neatly tucked behind our bumper system. We're really happy about having a winch back here is adding weight. This is a high performance off-road vehicle and having some weight in the back of the vehicle to counter the weight in an engine, it just helps your off-road ability. Look at the race cars. You guys always see them running two spares out back, right? Class one trucks all the way all the way up to even lower classes. They have it there because they need weight to counter the engines in the front. We think that that is advantageous. Now, if we can add weight to the back and also have some sort of useful recovery option, even better. But if you do want a, a front winch, fantastic. There are tons of options available. All right, guys, thanks for tuning in again. This is build two of, of build many. You now we've got orange, black, white. We've got a lot of vehicles on the horizon. We were happy to show you another vehicle. No two Broncos are built the same, either as yours. We've got a lot more content coming. If you like what you've seen, consider hitting the subscribe button. We'll see you on the next one. Thanks.